Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Friday, December 11th. I'm Kelly Byrne. Sammy Squires joins us now with our forecast. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, Kelly. We are in the lower 30s right now, but we're heading towards the 40s. And then a high temperature today around 50, maybe even 51 degrees in some backyards. So it's going to be a great day, a mix of sun and clouds. So like I said, we have 50 today and looking a little bit warmer. And it'll kind of be warmer overnight too, or not as cold. 36, partly cloudy and increasing clouds as the night goes on by Saturday morning. And for the rest of the weekend, 54, mostly cloudy Saturday afternoon, but we will see a few of these spotty showers late in the day after the sun sets. Sunday, 54 and mostly cloudy. For our next seven days, we will finally start to cool down. So if you like those colder temperatures, they are heading our way and some snow by next Wednesday, 34, and then 36 next Thursday. Kelly. Sammy, thank you. Governor Tom Wolf announced additional temporary mitigation measures as COVID cases in Pennsylvania reach an all-time high. The new restrictions go into effect tomorrow and will last until January 4th. Among the restrictions, a ban on indoor dining, indoor gyms and fitness facilities, and indoor entertainment venues like movie theaters and museums must close. In-person businesses will be limited to 50% capacity. Also, indoor gatherings must be limited to 10 people and outdoor gatherings are limited to 50 50 people and youth sports will be put on hold. For a full list of all these mitigation efforts, you can go to our website. And the new mitigation efforts come as state officials announce thousands of new cases in the Commonwealth. The State Department of Health reported nearly 12,000 new cases, bringing the total number in Pennsylvania to more than 457,000. An additional 248 deaths were reported, bringing the death toll to more than 12,000 in the state. For more news and weather, you can go to our website right now, pahomepage.com. Thank you.